Hi, my name is Darren Hartwell, and on behalf of the National Tractor Pullers Association, I would like to welcome and congratulate our 2019 Light Unlimited Grand National Champion, Doug Theobald. Doug, congratulations. Thanks, Darren. So, Doug, this is unbelievable. It's your first Grand National title, first Grand National title for your family. All right. How, how does it feel, man? Uh, it, it feels great. Feels like the uh, culmination of a, a lot of work for a lot of years. Uh, you know, kind of striving to to accomplish this, and uh, just yeah, just thrilled that we were able to do it finally. Absolutely, absolutely. So, brand new tractor for yeah. 2019. Uh, this one has been in the works for a while. Yeah, uh, basically a couple years now. Um, we started a couple years ago by by buying the chassis and and started working with Brad Corporal at Modern Machine. And, Kind of developing a plan on what we wanted to do and different things happen through the course of the uh, building process it kind of changed directions a couple times but um, you know it, it kind of all came together and i, I don't know how we <laughs> was able to make it work so good you know right off the bat but everything we you know tried to do worked really well right so came out um won the first hook in benson north carolina um, took the the points lead from there, um, you know. Coming out of there, next couple hooks were rained out. Um, you know, you after Hagerstown, Maryland, you're able to to regain the the points lead, and then um, you know it, it kind of went back and forth. I mean, it, it's a very exciting season back and forth for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fairly stressful, obviously, trying to uh, keep on top of things, but um, it was a fun deal, you know, running with with Keith and. And uh, you know, kind of going back and forth, and you know, every hook, you know, was was really important. So um, had to be on top of our game. And there was times that that we got, you know, I guess maybe kind of lucky because certain things fell the way they did. But yeah, it was a lot of fun, and fortunately, it, it worked out good for us. Yeah, yeah. So um, you had three wins on the year. You won in Benson. You won in um, Mount Sterling, Illinois, and then going into Bowling Green. Yeah. You know, you guys were tied. So right. Bowling Green, the last two hooks of the year at the National Tractor Pulling Championships, um, going into those last two hooks, tied with Keith Wason and the Super B. Yep. Um, the first hook in Bowling Green. Yeah, first hook in Bowling Green. Um, yeah, obviously, the added stress of you know being in a tie, and then obviously Bowling Green, huge deal by itself. So um, just try to make sure that we had everything as right as we knew how to make it and um, you know obviously first time running a tractor there so just trying to make sure that we were you know as well prepared as possible and and first night worked out perfect um got the win there got the first, win first win in bowling green first win in bowling green yeah we had a lot of success at bowling green over the years with the trucks but had never been able to get the, the actual win so so that was pretty thrilling and then um so that gave us a lead after the first night. So then the next day, uh, I think we were up by what three or four points after that. Yes. So we basically, um, you know, just had to make a consistent run. Uh, we went through everything overnight and made sure, you know, all uh, mechanical issues were taken care of. We found a couple of things right before we were supposed to run that we had to address. But um, but then yeah, we Keith ended up being first hook. We were second hook, so Keith made a pass, made a really good run, and um, the track ended up wanting to pull pull people to the left pretty hard, and that's kind of been an issue with our tractor is is trying to keep from doing that, and it pulled really hard left that day, and so I had to give him a break really hard and barely kept it in bounds, and then we were like uh, like five foot between the two of us, so there was there was a gap there that if enough people got into it. Um, it could have made things interesting, but fortunately it it turned out in our favor. Yeah, finished third to clinch the title. So yep. you said that, that this has been a long time, long time coming, a long time in the works. I know your family's been involved in the sport a long, long time. How how did you guys get started in the sport? How long have you been involved in it? Well, ever since I can remember as a kid, dad would take us to, to polls and then finally in uh, 1981, he bought a single engine mod tractor. We had no clue what we were doing. I remember that very well. Not that we have a lot more clue now, but I think we're a little better. But uh, yeah, we, we, we worked with that for, I guess, six years. And then uh, that's about the time that the major multi-engine stuff was coming around. 
two-wheel drive class was coming around, so we made the decision to go to a truck to stay with one engine. Um, and then I think we started that in 88. So then we pulled trucks, obviously, for a lot of years and kind of always had in the back of my mind that, you know, I'd like to get back to a tractor someday. That's what, I guess that's what we started. That's what I always wanted to do. So this light unlimited class seemed like a nice fit for what yeah. we were used to doing. So that's kind of where that, that all came about. Nice, nice. So it's been a, a long, long time and, you know, you guys have been very successful in trucks for, for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah, we've had, uh, We've had a lot of good times and, and yeah, had a lot of good finishes and you know, I've just had a blast, you know. Yeah. Met, I met my wife pulling, so yeah. it's, yeah, it's just been a part of my life and unfortunately my whole family's life for as long as I remember. Nice, nice. So several generations, I mean, right? The right. next one's coming up. Yeah, yeah. We got, we got some decisions to make on how we're going to uh, move forward here as far as who's going to be doing what. So. Yeah, but that's good. You yeah. know, I yeah, I wouldn't want it any other way. So fortunately, my my boys are um, want to be involved and are involved, and obviously my wife is, my dad. And so it's yeah, it, yeah. We just have we have a good time. It's a lot of work, but we wouldn't want to do anything else. Right. It's a great great family bonding experience for everybody, and right. everybody has a good time. So, yeah. so speaking of that, who do you want to thank? <laughs> Well, obviously, family first, you know, the support I get from my wife and my boys are just incredible, the help, you know, that they do, and, and obviously them being involved as well, it makes uh, it makes our conversations at home, you know, pretty interesting at times, thinking about what we're going to be doing next, and then uh, right. my mom and dad, obviously, have always been supportive, and then uh, Josh Miles, without him, I couldn't do this. Oh, yeah. It's um, the, the effort and the time involved in this, it just takes a lot of people to make it work. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. And then, you know, manufacturer-wise, Modern Machine has been a huge, huge help. Um, Nichols Tire, um, we've just, you know, those guys have been super great to work with and given us a lot of help on a, on a class that, you know, we had no experience in, so we were relying on, a, you know, right. a lot of information from other people and it, it worked out good. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, congratulations, Doug. Thank you. It's been a long time. You've earned it. Appreciate it.